Hey guys, what's up? It's your buddy Keith here, live in the control room at Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in Southend-on-Sea, England. And I've got a very special instrument to share with you guys today. This thing has an incredible story, uh, insanely rare, for, designed by one of my favorite, probably my actual favorite uh, guitarist of all time. And really crazy is that the day I decided to pick this up and do a video happens to be the anniversary of his passing. This is the Dimebag designed Custom Shop Washburn 1999 Dime Slime DB2000 base that went to Beefcake from Guar. This is a crazy, crazy instrument. I'm going to tell you all about it. It's in music videos. It's It's been toured all over the place. Crazy story. If you're new to the channel, hit like hit subscribe, come join our circle of friends, come celebrate awesome guitars and basses that we find from all over the world and share with you up close as if you were holding them in your own personal hands. And uh, you're going to learn a lot, no doubt. You got 10,000 friends here subscribed to the channel that you can talk to in the comment section. So I hope to see a lot of comments on this one. All right, what is the deal with this? So I got this crazy insane custom shop washburn bass from the most prolific dime bag daryl collector uh, he's based in the Nether netherlands his collection i've never seen anything like it i know uh ola over there in sweden he's got uh, a pretty cool collection but it's nothing like what this guy has and when i saw it we start talking because he had a few other really cool instruments and guitars that i got off of him and he gave me the lowdown on this Essentially, back in 99, this is an instrument that Dimebag from Pantera designed uh, so that there would be a bass version of his famous guitar, the, the D3, which uh, I would say the Dime Slime is probably the most famous and iconic finish on that, that and the Dime Bolt. But Dime, dime Slime has always been my favorite, and apparently uh, Beefcakes as well. So what happened was this guitar did not go into production you can see it's listed in the the catalog under usa custom shop this was the most expensive base that washburn had um but it's interesting because if you go see their price list they never they didn't make them the only people who got these uh and this this comes to me from the the collector and it's kind of confirmed here from julian's auction house where they talk about uh one being a gift to twiggy ramirez from marilyn manson uh, the only people who got these were endorsed artists and friends of Dimebag. And Guar, of course, have a uh, huge history in the metal scene, have played with uh, Pantera, friends with them, friends with Dimebag. So Beefcake got this bass, and you can see it in the Immortal Corruptor music videos. A few hundred thousand views, I think, on it, even though it's uploaded from way back. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this went on tour, as you can clearly see, it's got so much mojo to it. I think for a, a guar instrument, this would be classed as mint condition. If it's not on fire and broken in half, that's about as mint as uh, you can get for something from guar. And a little background story, I'm actually a huge guar fan, and my favorite concert, my favorite concert I ever went to had to be seeing Guar in a real tiny club called Oasis in uh, Fort Myers, Florida, way back in the day. We're talking like 1999, actually. Pff, might have seen him with this very uh, bass. I don't remember much of that night. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just think about all the blood and stuff that has been sprayed all over this thing. Oh, so cool. So... Yeah, this is not something that you could just go and, and get. And, oh, going back to the catalog, this is the most expensive thing listed, but underneath all the specs and everything, everything's listed as NA, blank. It's all non-applicable because they just they just didn't do them for anybody. I don't, I don't think any person off the street could have ordered one of these from the custom shop. They were exclusively uh, put out for friends of Dimebag and the band and done for very... Uh, I don't know how many exist. I can only find evidence of two. 
this one and the one uh that that went to Twiggy Ramirez. This sold for five grand back in uh 2013. Um you can't really sell the, the one that he has in any normal environment because it's got the Confederate flag on it. Which which leaves this one. And uh I just think it's so cool that uh if we go over here you can see 9906099 that's the serial number it's got washburn branded tuners it's got washburn usa high mass bridge emg jazz bass pickups i mean it's a super pro instrument it's huge guys this thing is meant to look insane on stage and on a music video i mean there's my hand this thing is a big big boy no doubt about that uh and just the connection to dime the connection to guar two metal legends it being a usa custom shop guitar so beefcake ended up the mighty beefcake ended up putting this up for sale at auction i think back in 02 retired it from its tour duties it comes with his really cool straps like a it looks like tire tread and it feels like tire tread very very cool bass strap there um and uh yeah it's the, today's actually the anniversary of when dimebag uh december 8th was uh, shot and killed on stage in ohio i remember that day well i remember i don't remember that day i, I actually saw him on that same tour just like a month or two earlier at pops in Sage, Illinois. And, uh, yeah, just, I mean, it's so crazy. I, I was in the Air Force at the time. I went to, uh, I went to work in the morning, turned on my computer, popped up CNN. That was pretty much the, the, uh, only decent news site at the time on the internet back when, uh, News wasn't so political, and yeah, we, uh, first thing, first headline was Dimebag shot and killed on stage. I couldn't believe it. It's, uh, yeah, it was devastating. And, man, so I was in the Air Force, that was 2004, so that's 17 years ago. Remember it like yesterday, so crazy. Uh, and it's just really cool to have, you know, a little, little something to remember him, something that he personally designed, personally had made for his friends. Um, can't really read the letter there, but they talk about how, uh, you know, that I guess he, he and Twiggy got drunk and came up with a design for this, for this base. <laughs> and yeah, someone out there in the world can have this. It's going to, it's very expensive, you know, no doubt about that. But it's the only one in the world. It's got connection to two legends of metal and rock. And uh, I end up getting buried with it. I'm totally fine with that. No problemo. If you do want it, if you're interested, you can head on over to EssexRecordingStudios.com. Just call us up. Call me up at the studio. You can talk to me right on my cell phone. Um, Instagram, Facebook, it's at Essex Recording Studios. You can DM me. No problem. I'm happy to chat with anybody about anything. But this is uh, just super, super cool, guys. Very nice 3D flame top on this. You can see all the cross grain there. The tiger stripes looks very 3D and holographic. Um, there's that Washburn USA high mass bridge. I can't believe the condition of this. The EMG logo is still intact on the pickups. I mean, Guar, there's probably not a band in the universe that's harder <laughs> on their equipment on stage. But this is, uh, this is a survivor, guys. I'll tell you what, I'm going to take it out of its cage, put it in the old captain's seat over here, so you can get an idea of just how huge this is. I'll show you the outside of the case, because this is what was toured with Guar. Man. It's so cool. I mean, have you seen a cooler bass ever? It just looks so awesome.
wonder if I'll get a call from uh, Hard Rock on this one. The old Hard Rock Cafe. They've actually got, actually, it's funny enough, I was in Greece, I was in Athens a few years back, and it was, again, it was December 8th of all days. And in the Athens Hard Rock Cafe, there's Dimebag's personal uh, Dean from Hell guitar. It's all smashed up. And it's on the wall. And I just did a quick video for our YouTube channel here, this one that you're watching right now, and uploaded it while I was eating dinner. And it got 20,000 views, like, instantly. And I, I couldn't understand it. I was like, what is going on here? Like, my, view, my videos usually get 100 or 200 views, like, the first day. N nothing crazy. And that, that video got 20,000 views. And then I'm like, I'm trying to make sense of it. And it's like, oh... It's the anniversary of his death. And of course, every year when, uh, on the 8th, there's loads of articles and tributes and everything. His his name trends. So it's so weird that I've had this guitar for a few years now. And uh, I pulled it out of storage. And I'm like, I've never done a video on this. I need I need to just get it done. Because it's been, it's been in the way over there, uh, hiding in the hallway. And James has been yelling at me, like, when is this giant thing going to get out of the hallway? And today was just the day. So let me uh, take this stuff. I'll show you the outside of the case. It's funny how, how the universe works, huh? So, yeah, there's some, like, Tor gaffer tape there. It says bass. This is, um, you know, I haven't done anything to the case. Giant case. I haven't done anything to it. It's exactly how um, the collector got it from the auction from Beefcake when it uh, went up for sale. Yeah, I don't think there's any tour stickers really left on it. It's very, very cool. Put that back down. I think that's the biggest case i've ever seen this desk is huge this recording console look at how massive that is all right so going back as far as condition goes there's there's some wear there's some paint wear here you can definitely see i mean with that costume beefcake has it's gonna you're gonna get buckle rash baby no doubt about that um got six bolt for the neck Everything looks, I mean, again, if something coming from Guar, I'd expect it to be bleeding and on fire. So, it's incredible that it looks like this. That it survived. Um... Yeah, and go check out the music video, too. The uh, Immortal Corruptor one. I'll have that. Uh, I'll try and put a link to that in the description for this video. But you can just go use your old keyboard, clickety-click, search that, and you'll see it. It's very, very cool. Um, last but not least, I'll just put it down right here. Get this nice, beautiful flame top under the, under the spotlight. Just do one little walk around over the whole thing. So there's no surprises. Everybody knows exactly what this is like. I wonder, uh, wonder if Washburn will ever make Dimebag guitars again. I don't know. I don't know what the contract is with Dean and the, uh, the estate and the band. I mean, it's got to be a mega moneymaker for Dean. But it would be so cool to see Washburn do some reissues. I always love this font. Kind of like, uh, just reminds me of an old horror movie. Yeah, I'd love to see Washburn reissues. Because in my mind, Washburn is what he played mainly. You know, that was his mega endorsement throughout Pantera. Uh, he didn't play Dean with Pantera. So, I mean, he owned a dean and yes he played a dean but I, as far as i i remember him and you know all the covers and all of the 
guitar magazines growing up and everything, it was always it's always that logo that you'd see. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna get going. Show you the uh, the frets on this. Ebony fretboard. Yeah, frets are fine. They're great. Cool. Let me get off here so I can upload this so you can actually see it. Because right now it's just a secret hiding in my phone. But yeah, you'll see it real soon. We'll get it up on the old shop, EssexRecordingStudios.com. And aside from that, guys, make sure you're subscribed. Help us get to 10,000. Share this out. Show, show all your friends. I'm sure, you know, a lot of you watching are Pantera fans or Guar fans or just fans of really cool bases. Let them know that something insane like this actually exists. Yeah. All right. I'm out of here. Thanks, guys. More videos coming up soon. See you later.